Hello, this is not a spring chick. The bikinis are in. Yes, if you've been wondering, where did you go? In fact, I've been getting messages on Facebook basically saying that. Where did you go? Where bikinis are less? I'm thinking, the bikinis are still there. We're in the process of making major changes. In fact, if you're looking at us, you are watching us on The Bikinis Are on YouTube. So you might have noticed a change in channels. Remember we told you change was coming. There's, there's nothing going to be posted on that other site for at least five more months. Mm -hmm. we're, been, we're on the verge of being removed totally. So, mm -hmm. Because people complained about us. Bitterly complained about us. Yeah, well, part of it. Are we disabling comments on this one? Uh, are we moderating comments? Oh, I'm watching the comments. Okay, we're watching the comments. See, what happened is on the previous one, is we allowed everybody to make comments and we just left them up there. Uh -huh. What happens is the more comments that are made, especially derogatory, we left them because it gets everybody going, right? Yeah. Um, but it's the sexual stuff that they really did not like. Mm -hmm. So. And they said that also we were spamming, uh, somebody complained that we were spamming them with the bikinis are with spamming people. Which I kind of highly doubt because they don't typically send out a lot of messages. No, so we're so. not, no, but they're talking, the video and the tags were spam. Oh, is that what they were talking about? Yeah, that okay. the video themselves and the repetitious tags, well, it was only a few words and that was it, same words on every one. Same words. And they all have to do with... Okay, folks, you know that there it, it is done by MBN News Video Web Monty Bubbles and it does with swim deals with swimsuits, mm -hmm. and they they consider that to be spam, My and the videos themselves to be spam. Okay, like, were we selling anything off the videos? <laughs> no. <laughs> so anyway, you're going to be noticing some changes. One of the changes is we are not posting quite as often as we used to. Sorry, you're just going to have to visit us on some of the other channels, which is the DM um, here, Facebook. Yes, we do have a fan club, and yes, I do interact with you there. And nobody comes to it, virtually nobody. So come there, we're going to be doing more things there. There's also the Bikinis Are website, which we're posting, and there are things, here's part of it, is there's, well, actually, and we, there tell is, people, there we tell is. people on Facebook to go to the website, right, yeah. we're doing changes. There's a, uh, several different ways. There's the Bikinis Are on Twitter, Bikinis Are on Facebook, the fan page. The other, there's also that other Bikinis Are one too, which we had started but we screwed which up. I, which I, you know, B-I-Kinis Are, it is, that one is the Bikinis Are, but um, we had a problem with that one, so I, I, I eliminated it. She keeps restarting it, so. Well, I don't mean to, and I don't, it's like. But um, every, we need you to come to the fan post, page. We're not posting new things there, the new things, what we're interacting is on the Bikinis Are fan page itself. Yeah. I mean, if you want, yes, we do look at that. Yeah, and if you want to know what she's doing, go to Facebook's thing. If there, you know, uh, Bikinis Are okay. Um, there is a, a link. You know, actually, your fan clubs can't link up videos to YouTube. They don't allow that. But um, still, if you just go to the front page of the Bikinis Are thing, and on the left hand side of that front page. There is a like button to get you to our like Facebook. Page. Actually, we could add it on our, on the fan page. We can put um, links to videos. Yeah. I I. Well, no, we can link to videos, but I can't. I no, I can't. Uh, we can on the fan page. I can link to videos that we've done. Yeah. But I can't link the Facebook site to the fan page. If yeah, we, I we don't allow it. Not on fan pages. Yeah, I don't. Mm. Because it's got to do with burning. Uh, I mean, you can if you pay the people. So it's a basically, it's a pay both directions. It's a pay Facebook, pay Google. Yeah. Which we're not doing. So part of it is we're still figuring out some other things, but the Facebook fan page operates differently than a typical Facebook page. That's right. Which so, means you can have uh, a, a typical page only can have five thousand people. You can have unlimited on a fan page. Mm -hmm. And we're we've got pictures that are being pasted on a regular basis when the Facebook does work didn't work yesterday. I know, it's been kind of going through some like crazy stuff. And, anyway, and the, here's another part is we are getting ready to, at least I know for the next several weeks, we're getting ready to go into a really busy period. Not only because it's the holidays, which are always busy, but we have some major, major things coming up. Um, for example, the Consumer Electronics Association Industry Forum, SEMA, which is automotive. See, part of it is, 
is you're used to me being doing just bikini stuff, but also we will give you some insight into things that we think that you'll be interested in. We yeah. also have the Monty Bubbles Network, which a lot of you know, which is general news. Yeah. But on the Bikini Star stuff, the information on there tends to be what I'm up to. Yeah. It's informational, but it's more fun informational. So we're going to have some more stuff about cars, cool cars. Yeah, coming up, lots of cars. Lots yeah. of we're hoping there's going to be lots of girls at SEMA, yeah. you know. And then we're also doing, okay, we're a little bit behind. But you know what? It's still coming early. We're doing our buying guide. So we're going to have our buying guides up. Our buying guide will come up probably next week, the first of them, because mm -hmm. we get the second set of information we need, which is from the Consumer Electronics Association. They'll yeah. tell us what's hot, what the trends are, so we can yeah. do it. But, um, and one of the things about our buying guides that we're doing is the buying guides that we do, you can't pay for. <laughs> these, are, these are pure editor's picks. These are things that we think are really cool, really mm -hmm. fun. We'll have some things in there that we think are like the ultimate thing that you yeah. can want. Yeah. Okay, like last year we had a Mustang, yes, yeah. a Ford Mustang pool table, which I thought was really Well, good. actually, we will have a Ford. We are going to have a Ford again this year, too. What? Oh, you know, the special one. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Sorry, we can't tell you. Yeah. So anyway, we do have some things like that, which are the ultimate, like, dream things. But of course, for most of us, we're not going to get that. But we'll show you some real cool things like that. But we'll also have some other things that we think are really cool that are more in the affordable range. Actually, some things that we actually own that we're, we like a lot that you, we know that you can push the boundaries on the equipment and we mm -hmm. also will give you tips on the fact that why your cell phone may not be taking pictures as well as you think it should. Yeah. So part of it is, yes, you're still gonna see bikini stuff and oh yes, we're getting ready to go down to San Diego. And yes. hopefully finish up PS1 to the south. We still got to go north, but PS1 to the south will get done. Mm -hmm. And we do have, we do own Bikinis RTV. Yes. We just haven't been able, okay, as most people really, if you pay attention to Bikinis R, you know that she, um, she got re really badly sick last year. Was it around March after the after the Academy Awards? She worked. Well, you, you saw. She, there, there, I went through periods of times where I could barely talk, as you can yeah. see. And she has blown her. When she blows her voice out, she can't do anything except look cute. So, she's been doing stuff, but we've been protecting the voice. I mean, like most people don't really understand it. For the last five, six weeks, she has really been sick, folks. Yeah, people. I mean, people sick, sick. I mean, <coughs> so sick. Like you didn't want me anywhere close. Uh huh. Like, uh, <laughs> no, she just, um, she just yeah, you, camera's late. <laughs> yeah, no, she just she was sick enough that she was, you know, that the whole system was rebelling and wanting her to stop. And we've been, unfortunately, we're in. We're unfortunately in a time period when I can't do that anymore. So we have gone into right now about a little bit more, almost a week and a half. When I say almost a week and a half, that we've been out doing something almost every day. Oh. Yes, we do something every single day, but I'm talking in addition to what we normally do. <laughs> yeah, day either yeah. day events or evening events or both. Yeah. An example, and we've had some computer challenges. An example, to next that. week, on one day alone, we're at the Consumer Electronics Forum, the CEA Forum. We're at, um, we're at an Academy Awards screening and we're at the screening of, a, of, a, of an independent feature mm -hmm. that's in competition for another project. So, and then I think there's an after party after one of those Yeah, things. and then there's an after party too, I think, afterwards. So. Yeah, so that, 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 that's a day that we start out at about, we start working at about 7.30 in the morning and it will be the next day before we're done. So and I know a lot of you go, like, I've got long days too, uh-huh. Yeah. I was talking to one of my friends, they were going, oh yeah, and they said, well, you're always going. I'm like, no, this is a really busy period. And they're going, well, and I says, yeah, I says, I'm happy to get five hours of sleep a night. And they're like, oh. Yeah, and I can guarantee you her doctor says she needs to get eight hours. And I, and I do, I need to get eight hours of sleep. So um, there's some things that are not quite all going through, and so we're trying to do the best that we can, but it's just a really busy period of time. Yeah, and then on top of that, we've got our Christmas special is, is being, it basically the demo is done, it's in, in pre, 
it's basically it's in post-production, but the demo is done. It's got to have the music added to it and some titles fixed on it. And it's it's going to be available for sale in November. It's actually, we're going to see what we've done in November. That's part of the cooking series. And we have the real biggie, which is the BC Revisits BC. Yeah. So we're actually doing, besides covering a lot of events, we're also getting things ready for production and sell right now. Oh, yeah. The television, the, the motion picture. We forgot about the, the full-blown surf and sand movie is coming. And you will get a chance. Um, okay, this is go. Go to, um, go to Yahoo and check for um, the, you know, the bikini star that came in from the sea. And you're going to see a short story written specifically for the bikini star, which is actually the synopsis of the bikini star's first full-length feature film. Well, that's not doing with cooking. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Lots of music, lots of stuff, and that will come out. It's it, you know, it, it's it going to be a fun type thing. But um, yeah, so we're trying to get as much done as we can. And after that, it doesn't mean that it lets up. In January, it gets even busier. Yeah. <laughs> because in January we start, of course, the Consumer Electronics Show. There's Sundance, Golden Globes, and we start into award season. Golden Globes, GGAs, directors. Yeah, Guild, and um, Guild, and at the moment. We're, we're wavering. It's possible. Okay, um, basically within the next, few, by this sometime next week, you're going to have 3D, three days activated, so you can go read about, we're going to have a, a thing during the Academy Awards this year that's a throwback to the way Oscar parties used to be done, and lucky people will get to come to the, uh, the Oscar viewing party that night. So we have a lot of things. Can you hear that? We have a lot of things. Oh yeah, a lot of things. Um, we're also going to have. We're we're we, we can't tell you who, but we're talking to somebody from Playboy, that may want to get involved. They do. Yeah, yeah. Somebody. Okay, that we, we can put it this way: when not a spring chair sideways, and the other girl stands sideways in front of her, you would not see not a spring chick anymore. She's a Playboy girl, folks, and been, you know, and been featured on on magazines and a cult movie star. Mm -hmm. We're just trying to get, she, you know, we're just trying to. And believe it or not, she's a little more reserved. Yeah, which actually, no. I actually, last no. night she was telling me she says that I admire your confidence. You just, I'm like, well. <laughs> no, you'll find out. Um, okay, we'll put it this way. I was married to a girl that used to take her clothes off for Playboy, yeah. They say, oh God, how did you get so lucky? Well, that's the way it was, folks. I did get lucky. You know, I actually got lucky every day and night. So, <laughs> but, you know, but um, she was the anomaly. We would go to the parties over at the Playboy Mansion and basically, other than the girls that were, you know, being paid, uh, you know, because they do pay the models to walk around wearing next to nothing. They would be so reserved, they'd walk around like wearing heavy overcoats or something when it was cold and, you know, dress from their neck down to their ankles. But an actual, most of those people that work in the business with their clothes off are the most conservative people on the face of this planet. It's really kind of interesting. It's most almost the counter side. Yeah. And I remember she, she was just telling me, she says, I can't believe that, you're, that you feel... You're, you feel so confident you just wear the outfit and it's one of the ones, remember my lime green outfit that we've had fun in front of the oh, green screen? Oh, that's nice. She, and I said, oh yeah, we have fun with the green screen. She says, yeah. She, I said, yeah, like you disappear into the picture. And she's like, yeah, oh, I bet that's fun. Did, we're not, we're um, but you know, I told her, I said, you know, I work in bikinis all the time. And honestly, she would work in less if we could do it. Mm. So sometimes it doesn't happen <laughs> that way. But um, no, she but has see, many. part of it is their kanji conscientious of their body because people focus on it. Me, this is just what I'm wearing and we're talking yeah. whatever I'm wearing. And because people want, you know, I think one of our new agreements is we have to do longer piece, I think, at 14 minutes is about yeah. it. So but we're going to do things like this length from now on over on this side. So so, so you're going to see, be seeing more, yeah, you'll be seeing more things that, that are this length because he actually wants to go to a longer format. So, but of course, we are going to be listening to you. So, some of the things that you would love to see, we're going to have be doing some special episodic things. Keep us posted. We are listening. So, check us out, of course, on bikinizar.com. The bikinizar. Check us out on Facebook. And